it was announced today that Halo is going to be canceled after just two seasons. And despite having claims that it was doing pretty well amongst the ratings, uh, seems like that wasn't good enough for them. And I would say there's probably a lesson to be learned here with the fact that they even openly admitted that they're not trying to follow the Halo lore or source material. And that's not me being hyperbolic either. There was this article that came out back in January in the lead up to the release of season two, where the star of the show even said that they're not trying to follow the source material when he's talking about why Master Chief removes his helmet so much during the series. Specifically, this is what he said. Uh, in order to examine the discrepancy between these two versions of the character Chief and John 117, you can't tell that story without taking the helmet off. If you don't agree with the helmet coming off in the show, you don't like our show, so there's no point discussing it. <laughs> so, not even trying to make the argument. And really, this comes down to actors like having their face on camera, so it's really hard to get an actor to be underneath a helmet the whole time. That's why you see it in a lot of the Marvel movies and stuff like that, where the characters will take off their helmets and masks all the time because, you know, they want to have their face on camera and the producers are paying them big money to have their face on camera. So they don't want to cover it up. But I'm thinking this is probably more of the why people didn't seem to gravitate towards their show, even though the ratings for it weren't terrible as in like, I've seen stuff much worse than that, but 61% for audience score is kind of middle of the road. One thing I did find interesting about these ratings though, is if you look at season one, it's significantly worse at 52. Uh, but notice it has 2,500 plus ratings for audiences. Then if we uh, go back and then go to season two, come on. All right. It's a higher rating, but it's only a thousand, which means just not as many people are even bothering to watch it because People tuned in for season one and then they seem to check out and then it come back for season two. Even if it was arguably better, it still wasn't enough to, or at least justify renewing it for a third season. But let's look at this article from Variety that's uh, going into the details about it. The live action Halo series has been canceled at Paramount Plus. Variety has learned the big budget series based on the popular Xbox video game franchise aired two seasons at the streaming service. The show originally debuted in 2022, while the second season aired between February and March 2024. Paramount Plus can confirm that Halo will not move forward with a third season on the service. The streamer said in a statement, We are extremely proud of the ambitious series and would like to thank our partner at Xbox 343 Industries and Amblin Television, along with showrunner and executive producer David Wiener, his fellow executive producer, the entire cast led by Pablo Schreiber, as Master Chief and the amazing crew for all their outstanding work. We wish everyone the best going forward. I can't say I'm surprised by this news, but it is a little bit disappointing. And what I mean by that is this is something that I was wanting to see for quite a long time, having an actual Halo show or a Halo movie. I remember when Halo 2 came out, there was talk about having a movie based off of Halo. And that was something I was excited about back in the early 2000s. And then when I heard they're making a show of it, and then saw what they were doing with it. It was just kind of like, okay, I guess we're, we're never going to get the real thing. And I'm not saying they necessarily have to follow the source material 100% uh, because clearly they're trying to tell their own story. And I'm okay with that. The issue though, is that they don't seem to have respect for the source material. Like even the star of the show himself says like, well, if this is what we want to do instead. And if you don't like it, then don't watch it. It's like, well, fine, I guess. But it just turns out that, people chose not to watch it. And this is the result of that. I think a better solution would have been to try to figure out a way to actually do something that the fans of the source material want. Cause this is something I don't get when it comes to a lot of adaptations like this, you get the rights to something like halo. It's a popular franchise with a huge fan base to it. Yet the people who get it and get the rights to make something of that, they're like, we're going to try to go against that and do something that we know will upset the fan base or know it'll be something that the fans of this doesn't want. And my thought process is, well, then what's the point of adapting something if you're not even going to try to please the people that it's supposed to be targeted towards? Cause you would think those are the people that you would try to satisfy the most. Cause you have a huge built in audience for that, but you know, these studios are like, they're greedy. They want more than that. Or maybe they even need more than that because they're trying to spend too much on that. But I think you should focus first and foremost about pleasing the initial fan base of it because 
if you can satisfy them, then through good word of mouth, people will be like, this show is fantastic. It's really good on following the source material. Then it can bring in other people into the fold. And then you can actually grow your audience that way. But instead they just try to almost put the cart before the horse by trying to just please those people and just at at best, just kind of ignoring the initial audience for them. And at worst, just being openly hostile towards them. Yes. This got a couple seasons and by all accounts, the show was just pretty much mid amongst people who did see it, even though the viewership was pretty good for a Paramount plus show. That's not good enough to justify a show of a budget like this. And that's ultimately why it failed. But there should be a lesson to be learned in that it's something I've harped on over and over again on this channel for people who are familiar with my channel that you need to focus on your target audience first and do something that they want. And I just don't understand why a lot of them don't just listen to what people are saying online because you have all this marketing data online. People are basically telling you, this is what we want you to do with your show or do with your movie. And if you do this, we will give you our money. And instead the studio could actually just be like, yeah, that's a good idea. We'll do that. But instead they're just kind of going like, nope, we're going to do our own thing. And I guess as the result of that, we don't get a continuation on this. So I hope they're happy with what they did with this because, well, I'm sure not. Cause like I said, I wanted this show to succeed and it's just kind of unfortunate. We're not actually getting a real halo show, but let me know what you think about all this in the comment section below. Are you upset that they're canceling this or are you just kind of ambivalent to the whole idea or did you even not remember that they had a second season of halo? Cause I know I personally barely remembered that. And if you haven't already, make sure you click that subscribe button. If you want to stay up to date with the latest entertainment news and don't forget to click that like button and share the video out there because it helps out with the channel. Thank you.